Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Apache web server along with MySQL, PHP and Let's Encrypt on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image installed inside it. So for that, simply click on get it now and then click on continue. And then from this product page, simply click on create. And then you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose the resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call this one Apache and then choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and scroll down even more and choose size according to your requirements. And now for the authentication type, you can go for the SSH public key authentication or you can go with the password protected access. After that, simply choose a username and then when you're done, simply click on review plus create. Now it is going to run some validation process. So wait for the validation process to complete. And once the validation is complete, simply click on create to actually create the virtual machine. But this time around, it is going to prompt you to download the private key and create resource. So simply click on it and download the private key in a secure folder because this is the private key that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is complete, we can move on to the next step and the next step is to access the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So simply click on go to resource and then from here you want to click on connect and choose SSH from the drop down menu. And then you can see this command. You want to copy this command and paste it inside the command prompt or a PowerShell and replace this private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path for the private key, simply hit enter and when you're prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. Now that should allow you to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. And then we can move on to the next step, which is to alter the password for the root user for MySQL database. Now the thing is that this image comes with a predefined password for the root user but we do not want to go with the default one as it can be accessed by anyone who knows that this image comes with the default password. So what we want to do is that we want to access the MySQL database and then alter the password for the root user. So type in the command MySQL space double hyphen user equal to root double hyphen password and then hit enter. And then it is going to ask you for the default password which is MySQL 1234 and then hit enter. After that as you can see we are inside the MySQL shell. From here, we can alter the password for the root user. For that, simply click the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide. And on this blog post, you can see these commands. So copy this command and replace the text over here for the password and paste it inside your SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, you may want to create a new user for your database. Now to create a new user, simply go back to the blog post and copy these lines which is going to create a new user account with the username new user and this is the password for that user account. So if you want to give a different username or the different password, simply replace this text according to your want and then paste them inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that is done, we may want to add a new website using the Apache web server. So for that, the very first thing we must do is to exit from MySQL shell. So type in the command quit and then hit enter. And now type in the command sudo lamp space add to actually add a new website. After that, it is going to ask you for the server name which we can go with demo.com and then hit enter. And then it is going to ask you to name the default root directory for that website. By default, it is going to name it the one that we gave above, which is demo.com. But if you want to give a different name, simply type in the name over here. And if you want to go with the default one, simply hit enter. And then it is going to ask you for the administrator's email. So I'm going to go with test at test.com, but you must use a valid email. And then it is asking us if we want to create a new database. So I'm going to go with yes and then hit enter. And then it is asking us for my current root password, which is this one. And then it is asking us for the database name. So I'm going to go with demo db and then hit enter. And then it is asking us for the password for demo db. So type in your password here and then hit enter. After that, it is asking us if we want to add in an SSL certificate using let's encrypt. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go with no and then hit enter and you're done. And now if you want to check whether your website has been created to Apache or not, simply go into directory cd forward slash data forward slash www and then hit enter 
and within this directory you want to execute the ls command to list show all the folders inside this directory so as you can see demo.com has been added to apache now the thing is that you may want to access and manage the database using php my admin so for that simply go back to portal.azure and go back to overview and copy your public ip address and paste it inside a new tab and then follow it up by php my admin now php my admin is a graphical user interface to manage and access the database so you can log in using the new user that you created or you can log in with the root users so i am going to log in through the root user and the root password and then hit enter after that you would be able to see this php my admin portal from here you can view databases sql the status user accounts and so much more anyways that brings us to the end of this video so if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for azure and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up apache web server along with the complete lamp stack and if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel